Howdy! It is shipping time once again, and I have quite the variety today, so let's go! Today we have everything from a breakable elephant figurine to a piece of clothing to a VHS tape. Uh, so you're going to get the lowdown on a whole variety of things. So first, as usual, and I've talked about this in my other videos, always start with your easiest first. Get them out of the way. Hey, one of the reasons this works so well is... When you build on your wins or your completed tasks, mentally, it just feels really good. And I have been taught to do this with my entire day, is to celebrate wins. So uh, with that, let's use it in our shipping and start with the easiest and celebrate those being done, which is a win, and then keep going. All right. So, easiest for me is the clothing, of course. I sold this Jurassic Park hoodie sleeve. I don't know. What is the point of a sleeveless hoodie? I don't quite understand that, but somebody wanted it. So, who am I to say? Who am I to say? I think I picked this one up at the bins. So, we're going to fold it nice and neat. Now, because this has red on it and it's a dark color, I'm okay using my red tissue paper, so we're going to do that. Give it a, just a little extra loving care. There you go, right there. Now you notice I put this diagonal. I don't put it like square and do it. I do the diagonal. Just makes it so much easier for me anyway to take the corners. Bloop, 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 bloop and bloop, bloop, and it's it's pretty neat. Yeah, it's not perfect, but you know what? It was fast, and it still gives me what I need. Now, in a perfect world, I would either have my tape in a dispenser that I can use one-handed, or have the piece ready to go, which I did not. So, live and learn. So then we just tape that down. Now, boom, I'm going to use my poly envelope. I'm still using too big of an envelope. Still kicking myself for not having the right size, but... You go with what you got, right? So I'm going to put them in there. Boom. Boom. I'm going to fold this way over. Way over. Because I don't really want it, like, completely sliding around in there. Did you just see that? I just stuck it to the table. That was really not very smart of me. Okay. Okay, now the concern I have when I do this is I always talk about this is... You don't want things that can get caught in the processing equipment. So this is the cost of not using the right materials. I'll tell you, the cost is in time. Because I have to take a little extra time to make this safe for shipping. So I'm going to, going to? Did I just say going to? I am going to. <laughs> what I can do actually is I can fold this one over. There we go. I mean, it didn't take a huge amount of time, but it's still time. And time is money. All right. So now our edges are safe, and that can be on its way. I'm going to write what's in it. So when I go to print my labels, I know what's in the package. Done. First win. Yes. Okay. Uh, probably second easiest is the VHS tape. This, I found out, is a really good seller. Got pretty good money for it. I can't tell you what that amount is right off the top of my head, but uh, it was worth listing. Let me just put it that way. You know what? That's a little too big. Don't need quite that much bubble wrap. All right, so we are going to wrap this up nicely in its bubble wrap cocoon. Ah! 
I do not know why I'm using my teeth so much today. I don't know. Old habits die hard, right? Someday I'm going to regret it, I'm sure. Do you use your teeth? Tell me. Tell me down in the comments if you are a fellow tooth tape breaker. I would love to know. All right, and then this is going to go in a padded mailer. Now I'm going to put it in, if I can, this direction. Yeah, I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Um, and I and I picked the size before I bubble wrapped the tape is the problem. That's why I'm questioning. Yeah, that's not going to work. The bubble wrap made it a little bit too, too much. So I'm still going to do what I'm going to do here, which I'm trying to get more cushion. So I'm going to fold it as far as I can. So that brings the extra padding down. And then I'm going to fold it this way to give a little extra padding as well. Because it is going to go... Well, you know what? I was going to go medium mail with it. Because that's what the customer paid for. But I think I will probably go first class with this. It doesn't cost that much more. It's going to speed up the process and get it to the customer quicker. And I just want to be a nice seller like that. Because they are probably just looking for something to watch during this quarantine period that we are living in. So, all right, there we go. So, that's kind of a nice looking little package right there. All right, and we're going to put the label on this side. So, all right on here. Two down, win-win. All right, I've got this little cloisonne. <laughs> I don't know why I almost said cloisonne. Uh, cloisonne. Cloisonne plate. I did not get much for this. Actually, I ran it on auction, hoping it was worth more than it was. But it's got some damage, so we tried it. I sold it for like three bucks. So I'm not going to spend a ton of my time on this. Let's get it wrapped up in its little cocoon. Oh, man. Lost the end of my tape. Don't you hate when that happens? And I have no nails. There we go. Ah, oh, get it back. All right. Share with me your most frustrating shipping moment down in the comments. Please, please share with me so I know that I am not alone in some shipping frustrations such as the tape and disappearing on you. Go ahead. I do answer my comments. I see them. Now, what I'm going to do with this is I am going to add a little piece of cardboard to give it a little extra protection. If I can get the cardboard to bend nicely. Okay. All right. And then that's going to go in a padded mailer. I know not the whole thing is completely covered with the cardboard, but it gives that backing. It is going to add a few ounces of weight, which I already figured for when I calculated the, the amount. So there it is. It's pretty protected in there. And the customer will feel like it, it got protected, which is the important part, customer perception. All right. And we use the self-adhesive. And now, boom, this one's ready to go. All right. That's three down. Shoop, shoop. Now, this is probably my next easiest. This one's pretty easy. You can find the right size of bubble wrap here. There we go. This is a, a kid's French kit, uh, magnetic poetry for kids. Originally, it was 1995. I'm going to leave that original price tag on there because I did not sell it for that much. And that will make them pretty happy. I gotta tell you right now, guys, take those offers, get those sales, keep things rolling. Would I like more money for this stuff that I'm selling on offer? Sure I would, but you know what I want? I want money rolling in right now. So, if you can make a healthy profit, take less than the item normally would be worth. That is my best advice to you right now. Because you can't go broke making a profit, remember that. All right, 
and some you win, some you lose. You know, some things you're gonna you're gonna do a little better on, and some things you won't. That's the name of this game. All right, now I again, this is too small because because <laughs> um, because I use bubble wrap. So let me that one of my larger ones. Can't wait. This weekend, guys, I am organizing my garage and my shipping area. It's going to be a beautiful thing. All right. So I'm going to fold this all the way over. Now I've got that extra padding there. But again, I've got these, I've got these edges here, and I don't want those getting caught in processing equipment. So I will put a piece of tape. I'm going to be good and use the knife, okay? I'm just going to do it this time. There we go. Old habits die hard. All right, so one edge. Two edge. And voila. I am halfway done. That feels pretty darn good. Now, I don't write the entire title of what I'm selling. Just enough, like a tickler. Like on this, I wrote French. Um, because that will remind me that it's the French kit. All right. Let's see. We don't have anything that's really hard to ship today. I guess I'm going to go with my little Rubik's Cube. So this is a Rubik's Cube trinket box. This is one of those object, object de art kind of guys. This, oh, there we go. All right. They would not have been, that's a good thing to know. See, I was putting the lid on wrong and it made it look like the lid didn't fit. I don't know if you can see that. There's like a gap. So kind of double check your items, guys. Like that would have been a bad thing for the customer when in fact it fits on there. <laughs> if I could find the camera, nice and snug. All right, now there's original packing materials in this box that were all crumpled down in this box. So I'm going to make this look nice and new again as best as I can because this is pretty crumpled. How about that sound? <laughs> all right. So I'm going to wrap this stock up in its original yellow tissuey stuff, and then I'm going to wrap it in its original bubbly bubble wrap so that it goes in its little box the way it's supposed to. Okay, so it goes in there. The little Rubik's Cubey thing goes on top. Now the problem with this I don't like that. I am going to put a little bit of extra bubble in there just so it doesn't rattle around. I do not like things to rattle around and one full sheet of bubble wrap is too big so I'm going to score that and boom. Like making your own perforations. Um, probably what I'll do is just wrap this a little bit more and add to it. There we go. Oh my god. Yeah. Maybe I do need that other piece after all. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to square it. That's what I'm going to do. Then I'm going to put their little label right on top. Did up. Did up. Now I am going to bubble wrap this. Um, that piece is too big. I have these big pieces of bubble wrap. Here we go. Here we go. I don't need a huge piece. I just need a little bit of cushion on this because the box doesn't need a ton of protection. Just needs a little bit. Just a little bit. All right, there's that. And then around. And voila. Now, the box I picked out, I'm hoping, still works for this. It's going to probably be a little bit tighter squeeze than I thought, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. 
if I can figure out how to make this box. What? All right. Hang on. Why is this not? Okay, another one of those shipping frustrations. Like figuring out the directions on making the box. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put this in here and make it around this. Because even if it doesn't fit exactly, I'm going to make it fit. How's that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, what is going on here? Why is this not, why is this not working? Oh, because maybe this goes, all right. What am I doing wrong? Oh, I see what I did wrong. Duh. Okay, Danny. All right. Yeah, there we go. Maybe like this. I don't get where this thing goes. Where does this flap go? Okay, you guys are seeing it. I have met my match. What am I doing here? Maybe this goes. No, that's an outside. I know it's got to build. I've used these before. Why am I feeling so dumb right now? That's the bottom. I see it's got that. So that's the bottom, right? Hmm. Maybe I gotta pull this part in. For, oh, I think I got it. I think I got it. I think I got it. Ah, I think I got it. Woo! All right. Dang, that was, that was embarrassing. <laughs> And I am squishing this in here because it's the bubble wrap that I'm squishing. Oh, I see. And then that's the flappy poo that goes down into that. Okay, this is not a pretty box, guys. This is not pretty by any stretch of the imagination. But you know what? It's going to work. And we're going to make it work. We're just going to tape it up. I'm going to go roundy, roundy. Roundy, roundy. And that's a little more tape than I would normally use if the box had closed on its own. And I'm going to go this way because that's kind of sticking up and i got to try to get that down. See, I tried to cover most of the flap so I don't have to completely overdo the tape. And then i got to go this way too because there's a flap there. I wonder if this customer is going to totally laugh at me. I'm laughing at me. Are you laughing at me? Are you laughing at me right now? Come on, admit it. All right. Ooh, doggies. That one. Ooh, okay. You know, doesn't it make sense that the Rubik's Cube would be the thing that gives me trouble? I've never been able to figure out. How to do a Rubik's Cube, have you? Oh my goodness. Should have saved that one for last. That was probably the hardest one I have. Okay. <sighs> let's do, let's do froggy. I have a whole bunch of these little frog figurines. They're not selling for like any monstrous high dollar amount, but I have multiples. So I only had to make the listing once. So let's say you have five of something that's only worth 10 bucks to sell. Well, if you sell them all, that's 50 bucks, right? And you only had to do the work once. So always keep that in mind with lower dollar items. It's, it's worth it if the total amount that you're going to earn equates to whatever that, that profit margin is that you want to reach. So he is in his nice little cocoon, and I think that I wrapped him so much that he's not going to fit in the box that I picked out, um, because I measured it before I cocooned him. Hmm. What to do? 
Maybe I'll save this one for the elephant. Uh, I don't know. All right, well, let's, let's see how far off we are. He's not super breakable, so he can squish a little bit. Maybe a little bit diagonal, a little bit squishy, squishy in there. You know what? We're going to go with it because I've got, I've got so much padding on either end. That's what's holding them in place in here. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of bubble wrap on the side so that he's kind of squishied in on that side. And he's squishied in on that side. And boom. Yep, we'll go with it. Again, not high dollar. If he breaks, it's not a huge loss. And, I, and I'm and i not saying that to have like a bad attitude about it or, or purposely trying to not get in there. It's just you have to weigh the amount of time you spend on something with how much you sold it for. That's just a fact of business. There's nothing emotional about it. Um, it just is what it is. And most likely, he's going to make it there. So... All right, because he's going first class. Nothing big and clunky is going to land on him. All right, let's do Mr. Elephant. Now, I'm not exactly sure yet what box Mr. Elephant is going to go in. And normally, I do gather all my supplies at first. But, for some reason, I did not gather one for him. All right, he's in his little cocoon. And I worry the most about that little trunk right there. So I'm going to show you a little trick that I'm going to use once I get him in his package. Now you don't want to add a lot of weight or size to your packages. So this is a little trick for just reinforcing a vulnerable area. I take a piece of cardboard. Let me go find his trunk. Where is that? Okay, his trunk is right here. So I'm going to actually cut this piece of cardboard. All right. And I am just going to, I cocooned him so well I can't even see his trunk anymore, but I know it's there and I know it's his vulnerable point. Where is his trunk again? Um, there, right there. Okay, this is the head. So I'm going to wrap this around here because now that little trunk has a little bit more protection. We don't want him to break his trunk. An elephant with a broken trunk is not a good thing. All right, so just a little bit of extra. Now, let me figure out what he's shipping in. Because I think these boxes are too short. Yeah, way too short. So let me find something for him. Okay. What I have is my 8x8x8 eight by eight by eight plain box with the eBay branding because I still think he's going to end up going first class. So I didn't want to use a priority piece and then have to upgrade and ship in priority. He's pretty lightweight. I wish I had a more narrow box for him. This is where having like a variety of box sizes really comes in handy, and that is my absolute goal. Yeah, this is going to work good. So what I need to do is I need to use a bunch of bubble wrap until I get some packing peanuts, which needs to happen really soon. All right, so I don't know if you can see. There he is. I want him kind of in the center of the box. Boom. Ah! Oh, my goodness. Good thing I didn't need that to wrap around it because that was messy. All right. All right, one more piece in here. He will be on his way to his happy new owner 
see I've got that really snug. I like it's it's overflowing where the lid's going to get pressed down so that I really have to push down to put it in there. That's the key. You want your packing materials to be really pressed down. All right. Round and round we go. Round and round we go. I think the quarantine is making me a little crazy. Although I am, I am going to venture to the post office today because I did not schedule a pickup and this is too many packages to wait. All right, so, so I will go in, I will dump off my packages and I will run back out and slather myself with hand sanitizer. That's what I do. This is a really interesting thing. I got three of these at an auction. They're brand new. They're my twin dolls and accessories. I couldn't find anybody else that had these. And I, I listed these just, I think like a week ago. And I've already sold one for 20 bucks. So you can see it's just a little, it's just a little art kit. Pencils, crayons, paints, pens, brushes. I'm not sure what somebody's going to do with this, but who am I? Who am I to say? All right. So we are going to, I am going to go this way first, which doesn't quite cover the edges, but then I'll show you my trick. So we got the majority of it covered, right? Then I'll take another piece and we'll go the other way. Boy, if I sell this to another eBay seller, they're going to be really happy with all the extra bubble wrap. Just think of that. All right. So it's nice and protected both directions. I'm going to use my knife. Fold these over, wrap around, and boom. Now, I debated putting this in a padded envelope, but I thought, mm, do I want to do that? Probably not, although using a box does up the shipping cost, but I don't want it to get broken. So I have this handy dandy recycled Amazon box with the big smile. Wait, there it is, the big smile. All right, because it's just kind of like the perfect size. Now what I wish I had was some pillows, but I've used up all my pillows. Um, so we're just gonna have to use some more bubble wrap. I'm starting to feel very on edge about using all my bubble wrap and packing materials, but you know what? We're going to do what we got to do. I'm just very thankful that I got sales coming in. Actually, sales are doing quite well. And I'm going to get this side and this side and there we go. All right. Now I try to pull off as many used stickers as I can. We don't want any confusion with the machinery picking up a barcode on something it's not supposed to pick up on. All right. So we'll just kind of pull this stuff off. It would probably be easier if I had fingernails, but I don't have any fingernails. It comes from my days of farming. I just, I got used to not having any fingernails. I think I did. I think I did fake nails like once in my life, once in my life. And I remember when I went and took those things off, I had like these paper, paper thin nails underneath and it was torture, torture. So yeah. Okay, I'm covering up the Amazon tape with my eBay tape. And remember, you can order this eBay tape with your, if you have an eBay store, you get so much in packing materials. Each quarter, oops, 
you have a coupon depending on the level of store you have and you can get free supplies so yeah that's how I get a lot of my boxes and a lot of my tape and a lot of my padded envelopes that have the eBay branding and I'm just I'm going on each end just to cover up some of the markings on this box all right that's it I know I'm going to put the label back over where this label was, and um, that's it. Shipping's done for the day. Yeehaw! <laughs> hey, if you're enjoying this content, would you do me a favor? Hit the like button. That lets me know that I should keep making these things, and especially if you've stayed till this part in the video, I know you watched the whole thing, which I really appreciate. And with that... Go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.